So I just received my Z Gallery magazine in the mail. I was so inspired to recreate and style my bed, my bedroom. So here is some of the ideas that um, just really spoke to me. So I thought I would sit here and style my bed with you guys. All right. So as you see, it's textured with the blankets and the pillows and all that good stuff. And look. Here is their nightstand, right? And I just wanted to share this look for less with you guys because I have a very, very similar one. This one retails for $5.99, okay? And here is mine. I found mine for a fraction of the price and the at-home store. I believe it was like $200 or 200 and something dollars. $229 I'm not quite sure but I just wanted to share that you can definitely get inspired by like the Z gallery the restoration hardware and then just go on a hunt okay so here is the mattress pad I'm gonna go ahead and add onto the bed it's from West M they were having and this is from West M outlet they were having additional 60% off of the lowers marked down price so I have the mattress pad on and oh my goodness it makes a huge difference it's one of those mattress pads that let me get over here it has this um, stretchable here oh that makes a huge difference so now that it will protect the mattress even more so you know this mattress was an investment so you have to protect it so now I have both on I love it Okay, so now that I have the sheet on, I'm adding a um, quilt coverlet. You can find these anywhere, anywhere from $16 all the way on up to um, $200 plus. It's definitely a great investment. You can see my wrink, um, sheets were wrinkled, but if you place this over it, you would never know. So it's the summertime and the air be on at night. So it's really a good thin cover to cover up with. Okay, so here is what I'm going to place on. This is where the decorative um, bedding begins. This is a washable silk. I'm going to just use this as, you know, decoration. We won't necessarily use it, um, but it's going to go on top of this um, that we want to use at night. Okay, so here is how the bed is looking so far. It's the basics down. It looks really nice and put together nice and clean. The silk... Um, just needs to, you know, lay there for a moment and the wrinkles will, I'm um, sure, dissipate. But it feels amazing. I love it. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and start putting our sleeping pillows on. Um, I'm going to put the pillowcases back on here and um, start styling the bed. So I went on and picked these. Or, uh, this is a good tip. Um, picking up the shams and just switching it out. It'll be um, way more cost effective storing the pillows and all that stuff so here is my pillow insert and only thing that I purchased was the shell the pillow cover okay so this is how it came this is the sham again only reason I picked this stuff up because it was 60% um, off here is the price, the 29 was the lowest price. Okay, so this is what I paid about $11 for. It is super nice. I felt like those two textures together, they did not come together, but I feel like it'll still match the bed. It has like a cream pearly color, and that is so perfect for this bed because it's not white. It's like a um, creamy color as well, so... I had to learn that when I was putting the mats into this picture frame, these were stark white and they didn't look right. But the other side had the cream color and it made it a world of difference. So the only thing that's really white in here are my lampshades and then a pop of color with the flowers. But even my curtains, they're all velvet material, but 
they have like a they're cream they're not white and it looks so good um so let me go ahead and get this pillow sham and my pillow cases on and we will finish making the bed okay so i just pulled my sheets and stuff out the dryer and i always just spray some linen spray so you may see it still damp from there it'll dry um so i put my sleeping pillows down first then i'll go in and put these euro shams these are 26 by 26 okay notice that i forgot before i place the euro shams i go ahead and place these pillows um this came with the comforter this um pillow cover so I put the, my sleeping pillow this is the pillow that covers the sleeping pillow and then I go ahead and then put the euro sham like that okay so there you go and you see this match so this is um, that came along with the comforter right here I go ahead and place that here then I go ahead and put this back over here this one this is a Vera Wayne comforter and it came out of Kohl's and I just use it to style we don't ever sleep on it but there you go this is the brand right there okay This is what I have going on so far. This is how it's all looking. All right. I have two options for my pillows. So these are the ones I just picked up. So, so pretty. And um, so I will place these in the front of the, like that. So, this is what this pillows are right here looking like so you know we have the sleeping pillow then we have the one that matched the comforter then we have the euro sham and then this one is a 24 by 24. Alrighty, so look at how pretty these pillows look they look so so good all right so, um little diy pillow this is so z gallery inspired and then this one I've had so many years. I got it from Marshalls years and years ago. I even DIY'd a few that looks like this one. I will go ahead and place this little pillow. It almost looks wet in And then, okay, so this is what the bed is looking like with all the pillows placed there with the comforter styled. I um, went on and placed this little DIY pillow. I just used a, um, like a window valance, like holiday season, they had these out and I just made a completed beaded pillow because I've never found one. I've always just found the pillows that's beaded only front side. So I just DIY that there. And uh, this is how it's all looking. These are the pillows that I have styled over here on my little bench that I recovered. And so I just put these over here and they're just, textured and then my metallic bank blanket um is just out over here on this little bench so that's how it's looking over here and that's a real live fiddly fig plant all right so everything is looking so so nice there is this little um cutie right here this is a rose vase that I had. I brought it over in Germany. Um, and then I placed these little cherry blossoms that came out of um, Michael's. And um, I styled them over here. And then this is my dresser. Another um, thing I wanted to share with you was, if you see right here, they have their dresser okay i do not have this dresser and mine's from pier one this dresser cost in z gallery 
$1,599, okay? I definitely did not pay that much, $1,500, $1,600 for this mirror dresser. Um, I went on and changed out... And you see, I went and changed my knobs out, and I bought a. I think I took two packs, and I got them out of Home Goods, um, as well. And they were like what five, six ninety nine, eight ninety nine. I'm not sure. They were less than ten dollars for a pack. I had like six knobs came, but I have a total of nine drawers, so that's why I needed the extra. I did not switch these. Um, I did not switch these out. I really um do like those so but i like the contrast in the two all right so i still get the z gallery look for less again i found all of these things at a fraction of the price on um, picture frames all of 19 to 24.99 i can't remember and i just took a poster let me go closer and i cut it into three sections and, and you see the gold, I just went over and used some acrylic paint and outlined, outlined the flower. And as you see, I added a few um, little stones. But that's definitely something that's extra. You don't have to do that. But I was able to create my own little DIY um, artwork here. So I got the picture frames from Home Goods, And then I got the big poster from Hobby Lobby. This again is a frame from Hobby Lobby. I mean, I'm sorry, from Home Goods, but the poster is from Hobby Lobby. Years and years ago, I went um, and had Hobby Lobby to reframe this for me. You know, put the um, put the poster in and make it so it would not move around. But I just I framed these myself, but I had that one done, and it was really inexpensive. Sure. Okay. So everything is nice, clean, and simple. Now, even though it is, even though it's summertime, I still like to add a little more texture to the bed. So I even I never put this up from when I found this at Home Goods. So it's, it's so beautiful. So just put it on there and fluff it up at the end of the bed and this is how it's styled I think it looks so so pretty I love all the textures all the tones everything looks beautiful let me step back so you can see an overview another layer of texture and then the mirrored furniture and then I you see I have that pop of color on my nightstand and this is it right here Okay, so I wanted to show you, um, this is definitely Z Gallery inspired. I added some faux flowers from like Michael's and just put them in this cute little jar and then added this little crystal little box here, a little trinket box just to style the bed. is a DIY I went on and cut all the stems down and placed them all here in this vase but I wanted to share this is a pre-made one from home goods let me switch it out and so you get the same look and you didn't have to do any DIYs like that that's already pre-made for you and it even has the faux water in here and um, I think this was like twenty or thirty dollars from Home Goods. So I just wanted to share that same look, you know. But I think it's just so much fun just to do it yourself. <laughs> so here is the one that I created right here, and I have the little brooches inside of mine. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So here are the two different options that I have. This one is like almost like an animal print down. And so if I just wanted to keep it really simple, I'll just style the metallic -y blanket um, just laying across just like that. Just still fold it and um, up like this. All right. And then I can also still place the tray.
Okay, so I was playing around with it and this almost looks like a bowl if you can see <laughs> over here and I flipped the pillows so they're all neutral and this is what it looks like. I think that's so fun. So you can definitely find some very fun inexpensive blankets and pillows and just style your bed. I think that is super cute. I just it was laying like this and then I just flipped it up like that. And then scrunch the middle part to make it resemble a bow. <laughs> that is so cute to me. I love it. I'm going to keep it like that. And then I can even add in the tray in but the middle. Again, way to make your bed Z Gallery ish. Um, it's texture and layering pillows and different size pillows so this is a 26 by 26 euro sham pillow right here this is a 24 pillow and then you have all the different textures like this is velvet on the back and then i have the beaded pillows you know and then i have the faux fur and the fringe pillows over here and it all works well it's all different patterns and textures, but it all comes back to the same color scheme. Like here is my, I don't know if you'll actually see it or not, but it has like metallic-y threads in here. Let's show you, there you go. You can see the metallic. And I just recovered this bench. Um, this is like my third or fourth time recovering it. And then these pillows are fringy. So. So cute. Yeah. Okay. I think that's really cute. Okay, so here is a similar lamp in Z Gallery Magazine, the catalog. This lamp retails for $400 and forty nine dollars can you believe it and mine is so so similar you can see it's the same look right here and I literally paid twenty three dollars if that from Ross so again be inspired look around now I would not mind adding some gold lamps in here um, just to have a little contrast but I'm I'm good with it. theirs is a bit more tapered now I am on the hunt for these um, particular pillows. Um, I've seen a few people pick them up at Home Goods, so I'm just still looking for them. But these are seventy dollars, and the ones at Home Goods are like twenty-four dollars. Okay. Okay. So here again is a fiddle leaf fig tree that's in the Z Gallery book. This is a faux one. Okay. I do have a faux one and a real one I will share. This one retails for $279.95. All right, let me share. I found mine that's here. This is the real one. I found it at Lowe's um, for all of like 20 something dollars. I have it on a Walmart stand that I paid all of $5 for and then I bought this vase for like $20. This is just the little leaf shine that I have in there. Um, but it is real it does take quite a bit of maintenance um as you see some of my leaves brown because sometimes it's not get enough water it's over water i'm still trying to figure it out but nonetheless you can pay twenty dollars for a real one or you can pay i'll share the okay so here is my faux fiddle leaf fig that i found at ross okay this was about sixty dollars but they did have one that's a bit shorter and it was like Okay, so here is my faux fiddle leaf fig that I found at Ross. And this one was about 60 bucks, but they did have a shorter version, and that one retails for about $40. So again, the same look that the Z Gallery one is going for, which was like $400. Now again, this one here is the one in the magazine. And here is the one <laughs> that I have. So I went on and styled it. I added um, this black faux, I mean, pot. And then I added this little faux greenery down here. And this little gold base just to have some more elevation. But again, all of that is preference. 
the um, idea is just shop around be patient like I said and get the look for less now this is a Z gallery mirror right here and but it was very affordable to me I think it was worth like 300 something dollars um so that's that if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. I really, really do appreciate it. I want to thank each and every last one of you for rocking out with me. And um, I will catch you on the next one. Bye for now.